Yes, I was really happy. I was really proud of myself and uh, and super proud to be the first Moroccan and, and Arab surfer to make it, you know, to make it to, to such a big league and uh, the biggest league in my sport. So, uh, yeah, I was super happy. And What's it like in surfing? Well, man, the QS, it's really hard, honestly, especially the top part of the QS, like the Challenger series and stuff. It's like, honestly, it's really high level. It's pretty much... Well, pretty much the guys that are on tour, you know, they sometimes they fall down and they're back there and, you know, they go up. So it's a pretty high level thing. There's not a huge gap, you know, and um, and the waves, that's the hardest thing is that the waves are completely different. It's super, you know, like the challengers, you surf sometimes in like very bad, very bad waves, you know, because, you know, the waiting periods are shorter for the events. On the city, you have 10 day waiting period for four days of contests. In surfing, you need to stay in the moment, you know, wave by wave, turn by turn. If you get too much ahead, if you, I mean, with me, I feel like you get lost and you... So uh, how did, in general, yeah. like you finally, because yeah. like you said, yes, last year you qualified, you didn't even do one heat. This year, how did it feel after that first event? Well, first of all, I was so excited to surf a wave like pipe, you know, in a heat. I mean, first pipe master of my career. It was a dream. So I was really excited. A little bit of nerves because I hadn't competed pretty much in a year. So I was like, oof, you know? It's interesting, but it seems that you, yeah, it's all oh, one step, one step, yeah. one step, but, uh, but you're... Uh... Exactly. But it's good in a way, you know, because it, it makes you stay in the mm. moment and not think too much, you know? And that's what you need, I feel like, in surfing, mm. you need to stay in the moment, you know? Wave by wave, turn by turn. If you get too much ahead, if you, I mean, with me, I feel like you get lost in you. There's a lot out of your hands in surfing in the sense of you don't know what the... Probably even you can practice in conditions and then immediately the waves change. I, I would assume it's, the, I mean, it's the ocean. So how how do you deal with that mental side of the sport? Because so much is out of your hands. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, that's why we love and hate the sport so much. Honestly, it's the hardest sport because it's not like a tennis court, a soccer field. It's there. You know what I mean? It's there. Every day you want to hit the ball like that, go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. Surf. It changes every second the ocean, every second. So let's say you have a heat, you're watching the, let's say two previous heats before your heat, you're watching the sea, you're watching the ocean, you're like, okay, I'm gonna do that. By the time of your heat, it's completely different. I'm pretty, I mean, I'm proud of myself because I I went, let's say warrior mode fully because uh, it was really painful. I had a really bad shoulder and I did 14 heats, you know, <laughs> 14 heats. So that was really intense, really, really intense week. Maybe the yeah the most intense week of my life honestly I was all beat up at the end my back my shoulder my neck everything was destroyed but uh, yeah I brought the silver medal and and the Olympic qualification so I was really really happy and proud of myself there it was a it was a turning point it was a turning point and it was pretty much the point I was like wow all the hard work is for this this is it voilà this is the yeah. this is your present you but, know right there I have my second chance now and. Going to Tahiti on a wave like Tiopo, you know, it's like for, for it's like the most dangerous but most perfect wave on the on the planet. So as a surfer, you it's it I mean it doesn't get much better than that, you know. You're scared but super excited at the same time and uh, it is a pretty dangerous sport, honestly. Uh yeah, I mean I've I've broken a lot of stuff, you know. <laughs> I've been injured a lot, honestly. I've had a lot of injuries, but uh nothing Nothing crazy, you know, like uh, never almost drowned or something like that. I've, I've had a few close calls, you know, like scary calls, mm -hmm. staying long under the water and thinking, oof, that's a bit too much here, but nothing crazy, crazy, you know, but uh, it is dangerous. You can easily get hurt. Like, the, the well, unfortunately, the, the guy I took I to the, the spot, video. you know, the guy that got hurt, he was, yeah, he was pretty much dead, you know, for two minutes and they brought him to life and... Uh, and he's a really good friend of mine too. So that was kind of a weird one for me to take his spot, you know, like uh, you, you don't want that to happen to anyone, you know, like, but uh, yeah, it's dangerous. How, how do you not let your injuries or that consequence creep in your brain while you're actually surfing? Well, it's a hard one. Yeah, it's a hard one because nowadays, you know, like the younger ones, they come with all these crazy airs, like crazy, you know, and me, I grew up, you know, when Morocco and stuff, there was... I mean, I'm more of a power surfing guy, you know, I stay on the water and I just mm. try to push hard and do big mm. turns. <laughs> That's my thing. I mean, I like to do airs, don't get me wrong, you know, sometimes here and there, but 
ah, these kids, they do crazy stuff, you know? And when I see them do that, I'm like, wow, I don't know about that. You know, after all these injuries, 